In today's lesson, we're going to focus on multiplying mixed numbers. To multiply mixed numbers, the first thing you want to do is convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. So starting with the first one, we are going to write the denominator, which is a 4. Next, we're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3, that's 11. Let's do the same thing for the second mixed number. We're going to rewrite the denominator, multiply these two numbers, 3 times 5 is 15, add the numerator, that's 16. So now we can multiply across. But before we do that, let's see if we could cancel. 16 is 4 times 4. So notice that and 4 is basically 4 times 1. Notice that we could cancel a 4. So now let's multiply across. 11 times 4 is 44, and 1 times 5 is 5. So we have 44 over 5. So now we need to convert this improper fraction back to a mixed number. The highest multiple of 5, just under 44, is 40. And 44 minus 40 is 4. So we could break up 44 over 5 into 40 over 5 plus 4 over 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So now we have the whole number 8 plus the fraction 4 over 5. And so we can write that as our final answer, 8 and 4 fifths. So 2 and 3 fourths times 3 and 1 fifth is equal to 8 and 4 fifths as a mixed number. So that's how you could multiply two mixed numbers together. For the sake of practice, go ahead and try this problem. Go ahead and multiply 4 and 2 thirds by 5 and 4 sevenths. So let's do what we did before. Let's convert each mixed number to an improper fraction. So let's begin by rewriting the denominator. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2, that's 14. For the second one, the denominator is 7. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 4. That's 39. 14, I'm going to write that as 7 times 2. 3, I'm going to write that as 3 times 1. 39 is 13 times 3. And 7, I'll leave that as 7 times 1. So we could cancel a 7 and we could cancel a 3. So we're left with 2 times 13, which is 26. 1 times 1 is 1. 26 divided by 1 is just 26. So the final answer is 26. So that's how you can multiply mixed numbers together. The key is to convert them to improper fractions and then multiply across. And if possible, simplify as well.